Hi, welcome to our channel. My name's Jolie and my cat's here. Little Moon. Little Moon, are you here? Yes, she's here with us today. So um, I'm going to read from One Day at a Time in Al-Anon because I, re I realized that March 30th um, didn't have this particular book. So I'm going to read it from page 90. And um, if you want to follow along with me, that's great. If not, I'll just read it and let's see what we come up with, okay? So um, here we go. My old enemy, self-will, used to masquerade under rationalizations like this. Why do I need to lean on God and burden him with my problems when God already has given me the intelligence to think for myself? Good question. So experience has taught me that I couldn't make any headway by relying on my own devices to bring about the results I wanted. Nothing seemed to work out. Sometimes the results were disastrous. And of course, I didn't blame myself. I thought luck was against me, or God had let me down, or the alcoholic was perversely unmanageable. I thought luck was against me, so things just wouldn't go my way. Now that I know I need guidance from my higher power, and I am willing to accept that, things are improving as I improve. So today's reminder, I am not self-sufficient. I don't know all the answers. The answers I get, in fact, come to me as I keep myself receptive for them. Guidance comes from the group, from something I chance to read, and even from someone's word that providentially meets my needs. So there's a, there's a quote from uh, the book of Psalms it says, God is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in trouble. So um, to me, this reading reminds me of um, the first step, which is, um, uh, you know, the first step is that um, my life is to admit that my life has become unmanageable. So that meaning that um, I can then ex go forward and accept that um, to believe number two is step two is, uh, is came to believe in a power greater than myself uh, could relieve me of, um, of the bondage of self, you know, um, could relieve me of that. And, um, and, and so that I can gain back my um, sanity. And so that's trusting in a God. And then step three, of course, is to, um, you know, to accept that help from a higher power. And that higher power includes that mysterious God or a higher power, nature, and also the group of um, of the people that are on the same journey that can share their experience, strength, and help with me, as well as the readings that are here available to me in the 12 steps. And, you know, me working, you know, um, with a higher power. So that's what this reminds me of is that it's okay with true humility to, to work that, that um, I can lean on a higher power um, because it's not a burden to, to my higher power. That's what we're here for. We're here to experience life um, the best we can. And um, especially when we grow up in an alcoholic home or if we have relatives that are affected by their, their, um, their parents, you know, maybe our father or mother was affected by their grandparents who were alcoholics, you know, because it, it gives us that sense that um, maybe we're not enough, or that we're that we're caretakers of our family. You know, we we always have the answers when we really don't. You know, we are. Um, it gets that distorted thinking, and the only people we can really truly help is ourselves to get to know who we are, what we like, 
you know, accept ourselves the way that we are and then learn what our shortcomings are so that we can manage that and change work to change for the better so that we can live um, fuller, more happy, serene lives. Yeah. So with that, I'm really grateful that you guys are here with me. I'm going to go ahead and um, end this reading and um, uh, with a serenity prayer. And um, I will see you soon. So here we go. Nice deep breath in and out for the still sick and suffering. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we can't change, to have the courage to change the things we can ourselves, and the wisdom to know the difference. God's will be done. Keep coming back. It works if you work it because you're worth it. And I love you guys. And I'll see you soon. Yes, you too. <laughs> Little Moon says they. She loves you too. All right. Bye, you guys.